Good morning, and welcome to St. Mary's, the African Methodist Episcopal Church. We're so pleased that you decided to join us this morning on this lovely first Sunday in March. Spring is on the way. You can hear the birds singing. Oh my goodness. I tell you, I'm so excited about this coming season, and I'd like to just go in prayer with you right now. Most precious and loving Father, we thank you for another opportunity to stand behind the sacred desk. Father, use me for your glory. Take out anything that's not like you. And please direct the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Let them be acceptable in thy sight. For you are my rock, my redeemer, my savior, my lord, my everything. To you I give all glory and honor and praise. And in the mighty name of Jesus I pray. Amen. It was tiny. It had 
shriveled wings. The man continued to watch because he expected that at any moment the wings would, would open and enlarge and expand to be able to support the butterfly's body and become firm. Neither happened. In fact, the butterfly spent the rest of its life crawling around with a withered body and shriveled wings. It never was able to fly. But the man, in his kindness and his goodwill, did not understand was that the restricting cocoon and the struggle required for the butterfly to get through the tiny opening were God's way of forcing fluid from the body of the butterfly into the wings so that it would be ready for flight once it achieved its freedom from the cocoon. Sometimes struggles are exactly what we need in our life. If God allowed us to go through our life without any obstacles, it would cripple us. We would not be as strong as we could have been. And we would have never allowed God to provide us with the transforming fluid, better known as the blood of Jesus, that could give us the strength to push us through the trials of life, which in turn forces his blood to unite with ours, providing us with the strength that enables us to fly beyond our circumstances. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Nobody likes to experience pain. I know I don't. And that goes for pain of any kind. We've all heard of growing pain. And although we're, not, we're no longer infants, we are still growing in Christ. There's no doubt that we are growing and changing daily. We may not see it, but God knows. And hopefully, we are experiencing the spiritual growing pains that are changing us for the better. A spiritual metamorphosis. Like the butterfly, we should be ready to push our way out of the cocoon, breaking fear and breaking free of fear, anxiety, insecurity, apprehensions, oppression, and depression, or anything that has held us back from our spiritual metamorphosis. We must be willing to shed this shell of complacency and step out of our comfort zones. God is pushing us beyond our own limitations into his realm of limitless power so that we can have our breakthrough. We have allowed Satan to form a shell around us that has stifled us and impaired us from being all that God created us to be. It is no longer useful because it represents hidden perceptions about us that are not true. We find ourselves carrying around negativity, misconceptions about ourselves that can become heavy burdens. We need to take off, hallelujah, those burdens, lay them down, and never pick them up again. The word of God says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Hebrews, the 12th chapter and the first verse. This shell of Satan's deception has blinded us into thinking that we're not smart enough, that we're not strong enough, that we're not pretty enough, handsome enough, tall enough, rich enough, and even thin enough. It's time to fight back against the enemy and all of his lies with the word of God. We must declare with all confidence that I am who God says I am. Glory to God. I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And once Satan's deception is exposed, the binding change of oppressor, oppression loses its control on us and we are able to take flight. Hallelujah. The Bible says in James, the fourth chapter, and 
the seventh verse. Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Sometimes we may have to fight and then push, take a breath, and then relax. A moment like the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. We must fight for our freedom from Satan's oppression, much like Lazarus, who was entangled by his grave clothes and was freed from the bandages of death. And he that was dead came forth, hallelujah, bound his head and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about with a napkin. And Jesus said unto them, Loose him, let him go. John, the 11th chapter, and the 44th verse. We must speak to our situations that are trying to keep us bound. We must speak into our lives against all negativity that is trying to hinder us from our destiny. We must speak life to the dead places in our life that we shall live and not die. Just like Jesus spoke into our life and those of our dear ones declaring that we should loose them, loose them Satan in the name of Jesus and let them go. Glory to God. Beloved, sometimes God will allow people to help us. And then there are times when only God can deliver us. If human hands were to help the butterfly by cutting it out of the cocoon, its wings would be deformed and weak and unable to take flight. God knows what is best for us. And he knows just how much we can bear. He knows when we need to fight and he knows when we need to have peace. He knows when we need to push and he knows when we need to take a breath and relax. And he knows when we must trust him and only him and wait on him so that he can bring us out. Hallelujah. This message is to encourage you. This message is to inspire you. This message is to empower you to never give up before you allow God to bring you through. When Mary saw Jesus, she fell at his feet saying, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. If Jesus had not allowed Lazarus to die, we would have never known the resurrection power of Jesus, which would be the same power that was going to raise him from the dead. It was a demonstration of what God will do for all believers who die in Christ. Hallelujah. But they too will be raised from the dead. So if God can raise Jesus from the dead, don't you think, hallelujah, that he can bring us out of our dark places of despair and provide us with the breakthrough that is needed to obtain our destiny? Don't you think he can do that? If he can raise you from the dead, he can't take you out your little problem? Glory to God. Yes, he can. We serve a God that can do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever ask or think. If you have the faith to believe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Remember what I said last week, that your test becomes your testimony. The testimony that somebody else may need to hear. And you say, Lord, honey, child, if you brought me through, I know he can bring you through too. Maya Angelou once said, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. Hallelujah. No pain, no gain. Struggling is an important part of life's growing experience. It is through the struggles that create us and gives us the ability to become the best version of who God intended us to be. And God will give us exactly what we need to break through any situation. 
that we are going through. He will align us with people that we will need to, to position us to be in the right place at the right time. God is preparing us and transforming us to obtain his purpose for our lives. Oh, they trust him. Trust him, beloved. Trust him to know that he has your best interest at heart. Trust him to know he's got your back. Wait on him. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is giving us the strength to open the cocoon of life so that we can spread our wings and fly. And he is anointing us to be able to speak breakthrough over our loved ones, our children and our grandchildren. He is giving us the authority to speak breakthrough in our city, our state, to our nation, and to this world. I declare and decree no more thoughts of suicide in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree no more thoughts of self-destruction. I declare and decree no more thoughts of hate, racism, oppression, and depression. I declare and decree healing and not sickness. I declare and decree that goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of our lives. I declare and decree that God's mercy, hallelujah, endures forever. And I declare and decree that you shall live, hallelujah, and not die. Glory to God. Why? Because your breakthrough is on the way. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Thank him in advance, Lord, to God for your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Give him glory, give him honor, give him praise. Say hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you right now, glory to God, hallelujah, that it is done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you for your breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you for the struggle, but thank you for bringing, bringing you through. Hallelujah, your circumstance, whatever you're going through, thank him now, declare and decree it in Jesus' name, that it is done Praise his holy name. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Thank you, Lord. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, and you need a breakthrough today, today is your day, beloved. Say this prayer with me. Father God, forgive me of my sin. I know that I'm a sinner, but I know I'm a sinner saved by grace. Forgive me of my sins. Please, Jesus, come into my heart. I want to make you my Savior and my Lord. I believe it, and I receive it, that I am now saved by your blood. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. If you said that prayer, beloved, please inbox me and let me know so I can rejoice with you. The heavens are rejoicing you right now part of this royal kingdom, this royal priesthood. Praise his holy name. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's prepare for our holy communion. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together
with whatever you have and your juice or water and so that you can partake in your holy communion at this time. Praise his holy name. that truly and earnestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking hereafter in his holy ways. Draw near with faith to receive the holy sacrament and make your humble confession to Almighty God in the presence of his church. Meekly, merely. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all people, we acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against your divine majesty, provoking most justly your wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorrow, sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy on us, have mercy on us, most merciful Father. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please you in the newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all of them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto you. Have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to everlasting life. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we shall at all times and in all places give thanks unto you, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your holy name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in Now presume to come to this your holy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord. So to eat the flesh of your dear son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful souls and bodies may be made clean by his death and washed to his blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and him in us. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your tender mercy did give your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his oblation of himself, once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel, 
commands us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O oh, merciful Father. We most humbly beseech you and grant that we, receiving these, your creatures of bread and wine, according to your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night in which he was betrayed, and when he had given thanks to you he broke it and he gave it to his disciples and said take eat this is my body which is given for you do this and remember to me Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, and as often as you drink it, and remember to do it. of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for you to preserve your soul and body unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith and everlasting for the thanksgiving. Your cup, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ which was shed for you to preserve your soul and body unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for you and be thankful. Beloved, let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad. Satan had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. Satan had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. Satan had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. We're singing glory, hallelujah, singing glory, hallelujah, singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me, hallelujah. If you were lifted today and you're ready for your breakthrough, and if this service bless your soul, please click on that donate button at St. Matthew AME Church Lansing.org and we would greatly appreciate any contribution that you would like to make towards this ministry and please always remember I love you